and they bring lives back. No, they can't. An error to many. Mm. A tragedy for Nigeria. A bad image for Nigeria. Men of the Nigerian army, gallant soldiers, who are making impressive contributions to safeguard the ordinary people, the harmless people, themselves committing tragedy has destroyed lots of lives. Your manned area vehicle, there's nothing accidental about it. How do you mean? The operations of the unmanned area vehicle, particularly the combat area vehicle, mm. it can never be anything like accident. Somebody operates it from a room, mm. follows it with the system, monitors and defines the images mm -hmm. provided by the UAV, and then you take action as a team, when you would have concluded there was time to unleash, you would have been conv convinced that the people, the images provided were those of the enemies. You have surveillance area vehicles, unmanned area vehicles. You have the combat area vehicles, unmanned area vehicles. I'm glad, I was glad that Nigeria has advanced. The military has, 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 has gone beyond uh, the attack with helicopters and the Tucanos manned by humans. It provides less colossal effect to the military when they adopt the use of the unmanned area vehicles. But I venture that unmanned area vehicle is brought down. Forgive me, please. But I venture that unmanned area vehicle is brought down. You have less colossal damage. Because there would not be any pilot in it. Mm -hmm. The military, the army, the Air Force was quick to say, they had not carried out any such activity in the last 24 hours before that incident happened. Mm. They quickly exonerated themselves. Mm. Why should it be so? Why shouldn't it? They work as a team. Mm. The, military, the military is a combined um, force with, from different arms or different services mm. that are carrying out the security activities, fighting the fighting insecurity. It is not time to apportion blames. It is not time to exonerate your, yourselves. It is time to feel the pains of the people. We have had incidences like this in about five states or four. I'm not mistaken. I'm talking emotionally because I feel pains where you misjudge movement, gathering, miscommunication, intel gone wrong. Mm. That's what it is. And then we are still counting the number of lives lost. Kaduna, we know, has been in the news in most times for the activities of bandits, just like we have in Zamfara State. So And so, Beyond the artificial intelligence, there should be the human intelligence. And so a corroboration of all of this should define when the Oman area vehicle should strike. Mm. There should be clearance. And so who gave the orders? Twice, yes. it was alleged that the Oman area vehicle dropped bombs. They first came and people were trying to say, help those of them who were still alive and it returned. And dropped again. To finish up. If an adventure, it, they suspected tra this tragedy to have been 
the activities, like they said, to be those of bandits. Mm. The ground troops would have been ready to Come clean on. up after the area bombardment. Like Roy said, the three armed forces are specialized in carrying out their primary responsibilities in different ways. You have called them the Air Force. It means the force, area force. They are meant to operate in the air. Never. You, they are supposed to operate on waters, the army, on ground. And so if the army is operating drones, I guess that was why the Air Force quickly says they were not involved. Because every finger would immediately point at the Air Force, supposedly to have carried out an area bombardment. But what do we have? There's nothing wrong if the army has to operate drones, but with what expertise? That's the question some Nigerians are asking. I am one Nigerian who has cried severally to say, we should go technology, the technological way, that we should